Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business, just coming at you with another random question from our QuickBooks Point of Sale Knowledge Group. If you would like to join the group on Facebook and get your questions answered, you can go to the link down in the description below. Otherwise, Mimi is asking, how can I remove the balance past due and information that prints on sales receipts from customers on account payment basis? We're just going to go through how you can do that. A lot of times this past due stuff will also come up. Even though the customer has paid off their account, the reason for that is in your QuickBooks accounting that is keeping track of the accounts, sometimes it gets a little off track and it doesn't automatically apply the payments on account to the open invoices that were created previously. And that's unfortunate. Uh, so even though the credits on account uh, zero out the open invoices on account or the the open balance on account uh, sometimes the invoice in quickbooks accounting is not being closed because the credits are not actually being applied so they're just sitting right next to each other and they cancel each other out <laughs> but it's not closing the document so you see on a receipt you see where it says uh, past due balance, even though there, there isn't one. It's it's because it's reading that open invoice that hasn't been closed. But anyway, uh, a lot of times the easiest way is just to go ahead and uh, remove that section from the receipt so that your customers aren't getting confused. So if we go on the tools menu here, tools sub menu to print designer, and then I'm going to choose uh, whatever receipt template you're actually using hit modify and we're gonna scroll all the way down here uh, you see this box here that says uh, the information that's probably psyching people out you can either double click on that and get rid of just like one of the uh, one of the three things by unchecking it or let's see if we can actually delete it yeah, we can just straight up delete it. Uh, once you do delete it, there's going to be a big space there. So you might want to draw a box over all the other stuff. I'm going to use the up arrow and tell it to get right back up snug with the next piece there. Uh, keep going. Until it looks good. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to save it. It might ask me if I want to use that receipt template as default. You can say yes if that's the one you want to use, and that should fix it up. That should make that message go away. All right, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day.